What's up, tubers? Welcome to another episode of What the Hell, where everything is cool. I just got back to the local thrift store and I bought these three graphing calculator for three dollars each. Uh, it's a TI 83 over here, TI 82, and a TI 84. Two of them work, and unfortunately, the TI 82 does not. As you can see, the problem is the missing vertical pixels which is a common problem with the uh, Texas instrument uh, calculators. Uh, I've seen that problem occur on the TI-83 and the TI-84 as well, and as well as the TI-86. Uh, today, I'm going to concentrate on the TI-82 and show you how you could possibly repair it. And the most likely cause is the zebra stripe or the ribbon cable that has come loose from the, from the circuit board. All right, let's get going. So on the back, there's two screws that needs to be removed. And in the battery compartment, we just take out this one screw for the battery, for the back of battery. And now, starting with the bottom of the calculator and using a plastic or wedge tool or a spudger, you're going to try to wedge through this crack and just try to pry it off. So there's two clips on each side that you need to undo first and then once that's done you could just pretty much pry it open so three screws are holding this uh, aluminum shielding And what we're going to concentrate on are the, the ribbon cables or the zebra stripes. And there are two of them that we could concentrate on over here and over here. Now the top one has finer, finer uh, leads compared to the bottom one. But those are the two likely culprits. So what I've done now is I've partially put back the, the back case so I could put the battery on and power this thing up so I could show you uh, the screen as I try to uh, manipulate the, the zebra stripes. So you can see the screen and with the, with the missing vertical pixels. And what I'm going to do is just run my finger on the back of the zebra stripes and just put slight pressure on it and just run across it. And as you'll, you'll notice is that some of the uh, uh, pixels, vertical pixels will come back on and some will come back off as I run across it. See that? That middle one came off. Some more coming off. So that tells me that that top uh, zebra stripe is very loose. See that? Uh, 
I just realized that I kept saying zebra stripes, which is wrong, because in this case, Texas Instrument just used a ribbon cable, which are attached to the PCV using a thermal adhesive. So at the factory, the cable has a pre-applied uh, conductive adhesive, and then they use an iron and press the cable onto the PCV PCB board and that cures it in place. So the way we want to repair this is pretty much the same way. We try to simulate an iron and try to remelt the adhesive and while pressing it down. And since we're not Texas instrument, we don't have that those uh, equipment. So we'll have to improvise. And the way we're going to do it is using a soldering iron with a adjustable temperature control. And we're going to set the temperature temperature just high enough to melt the adhesive, but not high enough to melt the, the plastic backing. And then we're just going to run the, also, we're going to use a, a, a flat wide tip. And we're just going to run the hot tip across the, the cable. And hopefully that will melt the, the glue and reset it and set it in place. So first, we're just going to hit this top ribbon and see if that fixes it. So I just want to show you the setup that I have. So the soldering iron I'm using is a, an Aten 937B with temperature control. And I've set it to the lowest that it will go. It's at 200 Celsius, 200 degrees Celsius. I don't know if that's accurate, but that's the lowest that this station will go. And the soldering iron tip that I'm using is this flat tip, angled. This is the widest tip that I have. And the tip is definitely hot, but it's low enough that it doesn't melt this plastic. So basically what you want to do is, since this thing has a wedge tip, so you want to make sure that it's as flat to the cable as possible. And then you just press the, the tip on this cable and then press on it. Go at it slow. Now I know this uh the plastic is not melting because I pre-tested it by um uh, pressing on the on just the corner where it's not attaching to anything and I just press the iron on it for a few seconds and just to make sure that it's not melting it through. So you run the tip just back and forth several times and do it slowly. And then do it at different angles as well, just, just to make sure that you've hit it in every possible angle. I'm making sure that I stay long enough to remelt the glue and pressing on it with a slight pressure. So I did that several uh, several passes. And cable still not melted, no burn marks. 
So now we test it. So I just partially installed the back just so the battery terminals are in place. Like so. And then just install the batteries. Power it up. Oh, I think I fixed it. There you go. All pixels in place. Nice and solid. There you go. So that's how you fix those missing pixels. Now that applies with any of the te Texas Instrument calculators and possibly other brands as well. As long as they use the the ribbon cable with the thermal conductive adhesive to attach the cables, not the zebra stripes. All right, there you go. Until next time, see ya.